YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome back to Phasmophobia. Today we are back with another weekly challenge and this one might be the hardest one of them all. Survival of the fittest. You've got no pills, no sanity, and no evidence to work with. It's gonna be a tough one. And it is on Edgefield, which honestly might be one of the worst maps for no evidence because there really aren't any good looping spots. Edgefield and Richview are both some of the worst. So it's gonna be a terrifying one and I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it, but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go okay so there's like literally only one looping spot and we have no sanity remember no sanity so we're gonna get hunted right away no sanity pills that oh they actually do give us the tier three sanity that's kind of interesting i i didn't notice that last time uh jack douglas we need photo of the ghost motion sensor and ghost event now the nice part is that i just prestige which means i got no items but here we got items for free we do have smudge sticks imagine this without smudge sticks that would be insanely messed up what i would do immediately is grab a smudge stick is that tier three no it's just tier one so that doesn't do anything uh grab a smudge stick i don't know if the the breaker's gonna be on by default probably not but you really want the breaker to be on oh it is on by default okay so turn on these two lights and then get ready for your first hunt. The first hunt is very important because if you get lucky, you might be able to immediately figure out what the ghost is. And you can just figure out where's the ghost going to be coming from, what danger are we going to be facing. This might be one of those challenges that a lot of people are just going to outright skip. That was a really long grace period. Wait, is it a... Why is my flashlight not... Okay, there we go. Oh god. It's speeding up, that's for sure. It's blinking like a normal ghost. I don't think this is Oni or Phantom. I'm gonna smudge now and get the fuck out of here. Hopefully not die. Okay, so it came from kitchen, I think. Uh, which, this is gonna be a tough one. It's always, I mean, you're really hoping for- Oh, we got all hiding spots too. So all hiding spots, plus breaker on by default, plus also very long grace period. That very long grace period is really gonna make a difference. Okay, we just smudged it at like four minutes on my timer here, which means that if, uh, it hunts in 90 seconds, it'll be a normal ghost. If it hunts earlier, it'll be demon. And if it hunts really, really late, it might be a spirit. Uh, we got that door touch right here. Okay, let me grab... I'm still gonna grab a thermo. I hope we have the tier one and not the tier three or some stinky stuff. Um, let's see, what do we got? We don't even have a thermo. That's kind of annoying. Okay, they didn't even give us... So we can't figure out Mimic then. Wait a minute. We, we only have spirit box? Why spirit box? You can physically do nothing with the spirit box when it's no evidence. I guess the... The EMF you can use to find the ghost. Okay, that doesn't really help me very much. I'm going to take this, uh, and I'm going to take one cruise. Actually, I mean, I don't really need that because we already know where the ghost is. I'm just going to grab two tier one crucifixes. Did it turn off the breaker? It did turn off the breaker. We can rule out a lot of ghosts already. Um, I should probably do that, but I'm kind of focused on uh, the spirit and demon test right here. Please tell me the breaker's here. The breaker is here. We can... Oh. I mean, we already knew it wasn't an Oni, but it's good to keep everything in mind that you know about the ghost, because that's really good. This is like the ultimate knowledge test. Like, you know everything about each ghost. So we're going to sit here in the ghost room area for now. I'm assuming it maybe is bathroom. Uh, what do we know? We know it's not a Jin because it turned off the breaker, which is impossible. We know it's not a Phantom because it was blinking like normal. The Oni, it just did an air ball, plus it wasn't blinking very fast. So that's right off the table. Dio, obviously not. Oh, fuck. I might have to smudge here. Ah, oh, you should not. I should have just ran away. I just forgot the gray spirit is so insanely long. How, it's definitely not a spirit. That's for sh fucking sure. Did it just smudge? Did it just hunt right on top of the crucifix there? I think it just hunted like literally right there. What the hell? As long as you have a smudge, you can be stupid as fuck. You don't really have to. Oh, hi. Okay, so it's just speeding up like normal. I'm actually gonna not smudge this time and just run away. So that's basically how you got to do it. You just got to run here and then usually I run over to this corner right here and either sit behind this door or just sit in this hiding spot if you got the hiding spot. Um, I think the hunts are pretty short. Yeah, the hunts are very short. I don't know. I don't think that could be a demon. It hunted relatively early, but... Oh, that's a huge boner. I'm gonna take that one. Um, oh, hi. Ghost event. Hi there. Oh, disappeared. Okay, we can't test for any sanity drain. Let's actually step outside here so he can rule out some stuff and it's not going to be overwhelming immediately. So what do we know right now? 
We know the ghost that I've just ruled out. We know it's not a Hantu because it was speeding up, which Hantus cannot speed up. Your Asian persuasion. Thank you for the five gift subs. We know it's not a Thay because it wasn't fast as hell when the game started. We also know it's not a Moroi because Moroi's, when you're at zero, this is very important because a lot of people get this mistake mistaken. When you're at very low sanity, the Moroi and Thay are kind of similar speed, but when you're like around between 40 and 50, the Moroi is actually equal or slower than normal ghosts, which is... Um, why sometimes it can be a Moro even if it was slow at first. Uh, we know it's not a Raichu because didn't really seem affected by our, our equipment at all. We know it's not a Revenant for obvious reasons, otherwise it would be dead as fuck. Um, probably no Myling because it was pretty loud during a hunt. I would say no Twins, no Obake for sure because we didn't see its shapeshift at all. Uh, Yokai is still on the table because it kind of just ignored us, uh, so we can see that. I'm going to set up a Polter check now. To rule out poltergeist, and I could also do a, a yokai test with that as well. Um, it's actually thrown out around quite a lot of stuff. I mean, a yokai test, we get an actual crucifix to be used this time, which still is very annoying that it turns off all the lights, but it is what it is. Um, okay, I should probably just leave this here because the gray spirit is so fucking long that we can grab that all at the start of the hunt. I'm so used to like. Fuck me. That's so annoying. Because now the ghost is here, which means that it's gonna hunt from this area. So I'm trying to lead it away. When the ghost ends its ghost event somewhere, that means it's gonna be able to hunt from there. So you don't want that in the place you're, like, chilling, waiting for the hunt to start, because then you might get insta-killed. Uh, especially with lower grace periods. That's not really a problem here. Okay, so we got more than enough stuff. Stop it. Is that a ghost event? Oh, that's another ghost event. Okay, so this might be very scary, but we should be able to just hear where it's coming from. But then we can't test for yokai. Yeah, we need to do salt as well. Let me just wait a little bit so the ghost goes to fuck off and goes wherever it needs to be. You don't have to look at EMF on the chart because it cannot be EMF if you have no evidence, obviously. Um, yeah, it's pretty active. I don't, but you can't really rule out shade here because we're at 0% sanity. And at 0% sanity, the shade is pretty much a normal ghost. The Oni would still be more active, though. Okay, it's back there. Please stay the fuck away from me. Um, so kind of how I do a yokai test, which you can better do it upstairs. If you have a smudge stick, you can do a yokai test in more dangerous ways. You can literally just sit in a room upstairs. If it walks past the door that you're in, then it's not. Then it's a yokai. And if it comes in, it might not be. You have might have to test multiple times. Uh, I think it's used it again. That's fine, though. Okay, so... I don't know. We, that was, like, kind of our only way to test demon. But it hunted pretty close to the... It hunted pretty close to the crucifix originally, right? So I'm going to say that it's not a demon, probably. Um, anyway, I'm going to grab a pair mic as well, because then we can test for a potential banshee uh, screams, which probably won't happen, but it's good to start early, because those things can take forever. Uh, this is a relatively normal mission, almost, even though... Did it just turn off the breaker? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, come on, dude. This ghost is spamming ghost events right now. Nor oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? We can test for... Okay, I don't think it's a yokai. Ah! Don't kill me, please! Oh my god, it's following my... Oh my god, I'm actually gonna die. That was so unlucky. <laughs> That's just the way it is sometimes when you smudge the ghost and it follows your exact moves. There's nothing you can do. I'm gonna say it's a Yure, or I could say it's a Gorio. I don't really know. I actually, honestly, I think it's a Gorio because it was doing lots of faraway ghost events without ever changing ghost room. That can be very Gorio-like. It was an unreal. I would have had to bring candles. So there's not much you can do about those situations. It's very unfortunate. It's just a way that, like, if you have the tier three there, that can be better. But I still don't think the tier three is very good because you can't crouch loop with it. But once they get rid of crouch looping, I guess that doesn't really matter that much. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. That's just going to happen when you do no sanity challenges. Uh, ultimately, that was the most... Ins uh, we got to look at that from like an outplay perspective. You know, you saw what the ghost did there. Use or turn off the breaker. My game is frozen. To bait me to go there. As soon as I stepped into the garage, immediately hunted. And then... When I smudged the ghost, which obviously was my only way out of there, it just followed my exact movements while it was in the grace period and killed my ass. That was fucking nuts, man. <laughs> what a genius ghost, dude. You gotta identify what your what the situations are in which you die. Um, 
I think the main one that gets a lot of people is when you're just like waiting in the ghost room and then the ghost suddenly hunts from outside the ghost room and it kills you. You gotta be mindful of where the ghost is at what times. The main way you can figure that out is, is ghost events or if you're like a real psycho, you can use motion sensors, but motion sensors are like 99% of the time completely useless and only like sometimes they'll they'll actually help you out. But I don't think it's worth setting it up every time for those few times where it's going to help you. I'm not getting any hunts right now, which is... Okay, never mind then. I'm going to test for yokai this way this time. Normal speed. Another normal speed. Right? This also sounds like not miling. Oh, the can't rule out that one. Oh, here we go. Is this for yokai? Not a yokai? Oh, hi there. Let's see if it speeds up. Let's see if it changes ghost form for Obaka or something. Do I have a... Oh, okay. It stopped hunting already. Um, I mean, we didn't loop it long enough for it to not be an Obaka. I also want to smudge the ghost, but I'm just gonna... Um, quickly set up a polter check here. Evie is to give a donation. What the hell? Thank you. So it came from upstairs, which is the best place to be. You, you honestly, when you, because this is your only looping spot, you can't loop upstairs at all. Um, can't loop in the basement at all. De Edgefield is the map of dead ends, and just like, whoops, I got hunted in the wrong place. Guess I fucking die. Okay, so now we got probably enough stuff. I could just check for gin potentially like this. Yeah, definitely no phantom. I didn't really. Okay, not a poltergeist for sure, because it's not throwing shit right now. I'm gonna smudge here and then hopefully not die. See? That right there was... Oh god, it's still following me, but we can make it out of here. Uh, that right there is what you hope to happen, that the ghost just walks a different way when you smudge it. I definitely don't think that's an Obake. Uh, we smudged it at like 14 here. Uh, we gotta keep that in mind. So no Obake. Uh, no Hantu because it was obviously speeding up. I'm gonna say no Yokai because it immediately ran into the living room as soon as it came downstairs. Uh, no Thay for obvious reasons. No Raichu. Uh, no Poltergeist because it wasn't throwing anything. We already got a lot of ghosts off the table. Uh, no Oni. Um, now we just gotta find the exact ghost room here. Which I'm just gonna grab another smudge stick first. We still have like uh, 45 seconds before the ghost can start hunting. Yeah, we need to test for Wraith, so we're gonna play some Salt. Use Monkey Paw. Wait, there- I mean, Monkey Paw would give you sanity, right? That would be kind of cheating. If they gave you that, that doesn't really make any sense. I mean, maybe they did, but... Did they forget that you can cheat sanity with the Monkey Paw then? Because the whole idea of the challenge is to have no evidence, right? I'm just gonna put it... Like that. You cannot- you cannot get down the stairs. It changed ghost form. I really did not see it. Nor did seemingly anyone else see it. I'm just gonna place it here for now because I don't want it to use the crucifix until we're like needing it for testing demon. So I'm just parking it. That was a ghost event. Oh my god, Jesus fuck. Okay, maybe mayor? Let's flick some light switches. It's definitely not a demon. Might be spirit actually. Touching doors. Did you just flick on a light switch? It flicked on a light switch. Let's go. We know it's not a mare. That's huge. Okay, no mare. I think I didn't flick on the hallway light switch. I'm pretty sure the ghost did that run right there. Um, so that's very useful. I mean, we're already down to half the ghosts are already off the table. It sucks that we don't have the video cam, so we can't test for Mimic. Can you give us a sign? Come on, hum me. Very dark up here right now. Um, we're not getting the breaker to be turned off. I could grab... Maybe it's a spirit. It's already been two and a half minutes. It's not a wraith. Come on. Is it actually just a... Oh, that's a radio. Is it actually just a basic spirit? I think so. <laughs> Hello? It's not hunting still. In 10 seconds, it can hunt if it's a spirit. 
Unless it's a mimic spirit, in which case. I mean, unless it's a shade and I'm in the ghost room. Oh, fuck. Was that right? That wasn't a different room, right? That wasn't a different room. That was literally the second the spirit ran out. Are you fucking joking? Okay, well, we're gonna smudge it again at 1750. Oh, God. No, no, no. Don't follow me again. I swear to fuck. You son of a dickhead. Dude, what is going on with these ghosts, bro? They're supposed to not see you for, like, three seconds when you smudge them. So if you just... If you get followed during the three seconds after which you smudge, it's just... You're just... You shouldn't buy lottery tickets, let's put it that way. Um, okay, so... Probably spirit here. We smudged again at 1715. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, what else do we need? I guess I could grab some candles, but that might... I mean, there really shouldn't be a reason that this is uh, on Rio. This thing only lasts for a really short, no? Actually shouldn't turn it on just yet. It's been a minute now since it hunted. I mean, if it doesn't hunt for another three minutes, it's easy, easy spirit. You can actually use this to get speed. Because it doesn't gonna give you anything else, but you can go fast as heck. Whee. So your sanity or your stamina doesn't run out. But you don't have enough inventory slots for that. Okay, so I also need the crucifix up here now. I mean, the ghost could hunt now if it's not a spirit. Which, I guess I should be in here for now. Oh! Interesting. I'm gonna actually hide here right now. Uh, if it finds me here, I... I'm the most unlucky son of a gun of all time. Okay, so not a spirit then. Just maybe shade then? Maybe shado? Definitely no demon or it's just completely broken. In which case, I mean possible. Is it slow now? Mimic? That's normal speed. I don't think it's smiling, but we already set that. Okay, just immediately stopped. Uh, did I already take the other crucifix? I did not. Okay, so we're gonna set up. I think it's in the other room now, so it roamed, which means no Gorio, probably. Change to the other one. Change to this one. It's cold in that room. Okay, okay. So we can test for... Uh, once again, I want to keep it in the room. Actually, what you do during ghost events can be so important. I never realized how much I kind of manipulate the location of the ghost using ghost events. Uh, definitely not on Rio. So that's... Uh, also no shade then. So very weird that it just didn't hunt for a really long time. Now I have to test for Jin here. Wait, no. It turned off the break. Never mind that. Never mind. All right, no gen either. Okay, so we're literally down to piece of shit ghosts. It could be mimic, in which case I just have to wait until the ghost does something different, which is very annoying. Um, yeah, I want to turn on the breaker. Please don't do this again, man. Yeah, we need to grab a paramic, but I also want to have light. Hey, at least they're giving us some tough ghosts here instead. Because I remember last time I did this, I just got like three fast ghosts in a row and it was like, all right, well, uh, good luck with that one. <laughs> I didn't really have to do the challenge at all. Hope you'll be okay. So now we get to show you what happens when you have very difficult ghosts. Okay, we should just set that up there, hold one for ourselves, and then we need a pair, Mike. Now, you cannot use a pair mic on a different floor, which is very fucking annoying. Put that there. I could... Since it's there, right? We could wait over here. Oh, fuck. Well, we already did a yokai test, right? I could do a yokai test here. Hello? Hello, bitch? Okay, well, it's definitely not a yokai. Immediately ran this way. Okay, definitely no yokai. Okay, this is 
so here. Fuck you. Pookie boy. I mean, it's not fast still, right? That's the problem with Mimic, if it never turns into a fast ghost. Which is like half the ghost, by the way, so... <laughs> I don't know. That's just un very unlucky if you get many hunts in a row. I turn on another light switch. Okay, I'm gonna say... Oh, hi. Oh, now it's there. So annoying. Okay. This is scary. So I want to get a scream if it's a banshee. Also, I guess if it comes this way, we can... That's a whisper. We have like six seconds of grace period, which I really need to keep in mind. I don't have to do stupid stuff. I can't just run into a hiding spot. Yes, thank you for the donation. When will Lethal Company return? When they do an update, which they've been teasing an update for a while now, so hopefully that's soon. I mean, it wasn't a different spot there. I, 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 people said that there's Monkey Paw. I can check for Monkey Paw. I think the spirit of this weekly is not to use the curse possession, though, especially if you have Monkey Paw, because that means you can just wish for sanity. That doesn't make any sense. Do you have Monkey Paw? Let's see. Oh, it's doing ghost events there. Yeah, you do, so you can just wish for sanity. I guess that's for if you need to test for, like, shade. Or, like, I don't know what else you would need that for. Are you fucking joking? Is it here now? Come on, do another whisper. This is actually... Touching this door? Is it a banshee? You... <laughs> Wait. That's... There's no guitar here at all. Wait, where the fuck did it touch? Yeah, we can wish for no We can wish for knowledge. That'd actually be very interesting. I mean, I would be blind after that. That seems so cheating, though. I mean, we're gonna find- I should get a motion sensor, but we're gonna find out if it hunts from here. I don't think that sounded like- You're right. Give me a- give me a scream! Check orbs? Yeah, if only I had video cam, that would be very nice. Doing, yeah, I mean, I think Banshee is relatively possible. It's like, ba I'm not airing any Yurei abilities. If it hunts from this room, it's free. That's three whispers, though. I mean, if la what was it, two weeklies ago? I think I spent like 40 minutes with a single Banshee. Okay. So it didn't hunt from here again. It's, I mean, I would say Yurei right now, or maybe Gorio. Maybe it is just staying in the same room. Yeah, we had seven whispers that day. And only then did we get the scream. Okay, so realistically, if you're down to this, um, there isn't much you could... Is it here? It's like downstairs, but it's still blinking. There isn't much you can do. You kind of just... It's, it's up to the ghost to do what you need it to do. What we can do is grab a motion sensor and see if it, like, randomly walks into my room, like, several times. That could be very Banshee-like. And then we basically have everything we can set up. Your race do not roam to your room. I mean, they can with ghost events, but... We're gonna place that, like, here. That's me. All right, buddy. Where's that? That's the same. same. Dude, this ghost is like hunting nonstop. Maybe it is. Imagine it ends up being a demon anyway. That'd be fucking hilarious. It would just didn't hunt for three minutes to throw me off. You have all the hiding spots, which is very nice. I mean, there's no hiding spots downstairs, really. Okay. Um, didn't step on that, but we don't really know. We could... I mean, using the monkey pod to wish for... Sand we could wish for knowledge. 
Honestly, like at this point, we never heard. I'm gonna rule out Mimic. This is like what you gotta do in this game sometimes is you gotta go like, is it really worth it? And you gotta just rule out Ghost based on like, okay, it could be a Mimic, but I would have to spend another. Like at some point, you need to just rule out things based on statistic, like it being statistically unlikely. Oh my god, for it to be a certain ghost, which I would also say in this scenario, I'm gonna rule out Banshee because it's constantly hunting from that room. It's never roaming to my location. It could obviously be a Banshee that's just not doing its behavior, but you gotta just at some point rule it out. Um, I would say Gorio or Yuri here is the most like Gorio actually because it's constantly just in that room all the time, which is kind of su very suspicious. It's, it's gonna stop hunting before it gets here. Um, right, there we go. Because it's never really hunted outside of this room, right? And it's still cold in this room. Is it? It's still cold in this room. I mean, and it's walked around, but just never changed ghost room. It didn't even use this crucifix like a centimeter out of its ghost room. That's really weird. You would expect that other ghosts that, like, are normal and roaming more would have used that crucifix already. So why don't we do some dumb and we wish for knowledge? Oh, fuck. I should, I should not say that out loud. Uh, and then we see if that brings us any closer to the ghost. This is kind of cheating, but hey, they gave us the monkey paw. Might as well use it. Wait, it hunts from downstairs now? Okay, never mind then. Wait, what the fuck? I mean, can I wish for knowledge during hunt? I wish for knowledge. But you can just cheat? You can just wish for knowledge during a hunt? That is so dumb, because then you bypass the whole penalty of the... I mean, you're still going to be blind. But the whole problem with wishing for knowledge is that the ghost starts its hunt, like, right next to you. Okay, then. Um... So Yura and Goria are still both possible, which is very stupid. All right, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Uh, it's doing radio. So yeah, now I can't see shit anymore, which obviously makes it very dangerous. Okay, so in this situation, we could spend another 30 minutes here, but we kind of just gotta, like, through this list, Banshee would be very unlikely because it's never really hunted for my location. Revenant, obviously impossible. Demon, if that first three minute hunt, like if it's still a demon, then good job. You fucking trolled me. Uh, Myling, it's very loud. Raichu, obviously not. Obake, we looped it several times, never shapeshifted. They wasn't fast. Hunter, it sped up. Oni, it did air balls and it was blinking. Uh, Jin, it turned off the breaker. Shade, it hunted in the same room. So we're down to literally Yure and Goryeo. Um, I, I guess, I mean, Yure is the ultimate troll, but it didn't do Yure ability. And Gorio, I mean, it never really changed Ghost Room is a thing. Can I smudge the... Oh, I left my smudge stick up there. Um, I can't really see the thing. I mean, most people are saying Yure. It's just a fl flip of a coin. So if you guys are saying Yure, I'll go with Yure. But it's... It's like... It's literally... It's like 51% Yure... Or Gorio, 50% Yure. It's just completely up to chance. I mean, it never changed Ghost Room out and... Okay, yeah, you guys are right. That was just a complete coin flip. It's so... Let's see. Did it do its ability at any point? It supposedly used its ability four times. Never heard it a single time. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, that's the problem with that. For Gorio, if we just... Like, the thing is, you gotta... You gotta make decisions based on how much time it would take to do it. Because um, Gorio, you can obviously rule out if it changes ghost room but it genuinely did it change ghost room there did we have a did anyone see if it did ghost room changes because it i think i hovered over that um i don't know if it did it went downstairs i mean it hunted from downstairs that doesn't mean it said zero zero to ghost room changes see that's just like <laughs> what, what are you supposed to do like that's the problem with that's the problem with yurei banshee gorio existing especially yurei and gorio uh, that it just means that some no evidence runs ne necessarily will take 30 minutes if you want to be certain about it, and sometimes even up to an hour. Okay. In the basement or upstairs? Normal speed, I think. Okay, immediately walked in here. 
throwing quite a bit actually there. Okay, I'm gonna smudge and then just get the fuck out of here if I can. Don't follow me, please. Oh my god, it's doing it. Oh my god, I'm dead. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> just that last second I got away. Whew. Can we stop that today? That's been happening far too much. This doesn't usually happen this much. Uh, yeah, it could be Poltergeist. I mean, so obviously, no Phantom. Uh, no Revenant, no Hantu. There's gotta... There's, it's insane that we haven't gotten at least one fast ghost in these three runs that we've done so far. Uh, that's very unlucky. I smudged it at like 32 on this timer. I'm gonna set up a polter check here. Uh, cause I feel like that was- Oh, no Oni either. And why the fuck did it do that right here? Is that some Wraith shenanigans going on? Interesting. We'll definitely see. I mean, the fact that that cup was still standing means it's probably not a, a poltergeist. Okay, so let's rule out that one as well. And then I'll grab just all of the all of the smudge sticks and some salt. Because it's going to come down the stairs, right? So we're going to do that. A little step in that. Okay, so now we're set up for polter check. We still, I mean, we're gonna leave the more scary checks for when, or a little later. So it's been already a minute and like the ghost should be able to hunt now if it's not a, not a spirit. Rowing over there or there. Let's turn on some light switches maybe to potentially rule out mare. Okay, coming from death room. <laughs> Coming from the green room? It's coming from the green room. Let's see. I don't know if Jin is far enough for the thing. Okay, definitely not a poltergeist. I'm gonna smudge here and then run. It stepped in the salt as well. Can we just hide anywhere? We can't just hide anywhere. Okay, so no wraith. Probably no Jin. Uh, probably no twins, definitely no Raichu. Um, so we smudge it again at like third. Right. <gasps> Is it cold in here? Spooky sound you're doing right there. I'm gonna set up a crucifix and like a candle here, I think. To do on Rio check. We know that we have a little bit of safety. Yeah, no Polter, we can roll that up too. It's gonna be Yurei again. If it's actually not a Yurei or Gorio, I swear to God, they're fucking trying to <laughs> make me uninstall the video game. <laughs> that shit's fucked up. Okay, radio time. So we have... I mean, I'm assuming that's the ghost room. I just want to test for... on Rio here. Which sucks, because it's gonna almost haunt again. Uh... I need this. I will take another smudge. I'll take a pair of mic too, just in case. Okay, turn on this real quick. Chill out. Gonna place this. And then I need to light it. Don't hunt yet! Don't you dare. Okay. There we go. We have the Unreal check in place. Chill out with that. Uh, yeah, no Wraith, but I already ruled that out. Poltergeist is off the table. Uh, Spirit was off the table, right? Because it hunted pretty much immediately. Well, it hunted immediately after the 90 seconds were up. Uh, so now we're down to this. Not hunting right now. Imagine it's a shade. It'd be so funny. It should be able to hunt, like, already for sure. Can you give us a sign? Oh, different room. No, no demon, that's for sure. That would have absolutely been stopped by the crucifix. Don't really need to do another check. I'm gonna say no demon. No yokai either, because it found me like... Wait, did it find me several times? Probably. I tested it like twice, I think. So I think that's enough. Do we know Miley? Where is it right now? I can't hear it much. Marina, thank you for the six. 
I don't know. It's a hard, they, This might be the hardest map in the entirety of Phasmo to test for my link. Because it's all, like, close to the center circle of the map. Like, the, the stairs is in the middle of the map. So, there's no way to get a far enough distance from where the ghost is going to be. So, they're always... Like, you're always going to hear the footsteps. Like, kind of what you need is the ghost to be over there and you to be in there. But that's like, how do you get that to happen? Kind of fucked up. Okay, it's in there now. God, Jesus Christ. This is definitely roaming, I would say. Maybe, like, if I sit in this corner here. That should... This to stare should work. Okay, so no myling. Now I could easily die here. Wait. Yokai? Wait. Wait, it is a yokai? After all we've been through? Wait, what the fuck? I tested it like several times. So it w I was there and it walked down the stairs, right? That shouldn't be possible. I mean, we could test it like this. And let's test that again, I guess then. You know, we can test it easily by going garage mode. Like, being in the garage when the ghost walks down the steps. If it doesn't find us immediately, we know. Or mimic. The fuck? Throwing off the breaker? No gin. I mean, we already knew that. Okay, so this is where I could die again. You know what? We have this hiding spot. Might as well. Let's do that instead. So I don't have a repeat from the first game. Usually, I wouldn't have all hiding spots. I honestly... The way I play nowadays is just completely disregarding all hiding spots, which you shouldn't. <laughs> you should use the hiding spots when they're there. Come on. It's still... Is it going to be stopped by the cruiser now? I didn't light the... Damn, are you fucking joking now that I'm not there? Okay. Uh, that's unlucky. Which one? That one? Okay. And the candles are all blown out. So annoying. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But I can do this. I can do this. I can keep my own... Behind. Okay, you're that. I can use my own lighter as a candle. So if it uses this crucifix underneath... Shut the fuck up. If it uses... If it... Uh, uses the crucifix underneath my lighter, maybe. Hey, Psycho, what's up? Aha! There we go. That's how you can also use a lighter to test for on Rio. Which is very nice. Uh, so, no on Rio. Probably just Yokai, though, then. That's so strange, because I tested it there twice, and every time it immediately walked to me. Uh, unless I was at the perfect distance. Of it not finding me. All right, you can hunt now. Right, there's no more crucifixes. Psycho is the ghost. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna sit right here. When the ghost comes down the steps, it should immediately know that I'm here. Because it's on the opposite side of this wall. And it didn't find me. So it's gotta be Yokai then. What? Okay, that's very strange, but I, I guess. Alright. And it also walked away. Okay, so this is the most obvious Yokai of all time. Uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how we. That's why you should. I don't know. Yeah, you, you gotta just test Yokai over and over and over again, because sometimes you get screwed over by the way it works. Hey, at least we figured it out there. Um, so the yokai didn't f detect my f uh, flashlight at all, even when it was like really close. And that could also not have been a mimic there, unless I got insanely unlucky, yeah, because it was the same ghost two times in a row, which is almost impossible for you know, for a mimic. Just a little change ghost room, um, or it'll change ghost type. Like every hunt, basically, you will almost never get the same ghost in a row, uh, like two hunts in a row. We had no favorite room changes there. We have just had no... Did they turn off favorite room changes for this? Anyway, we needed one more, right? Uh, I'm not done yet. Yeah, we're at two because uh, that freaking on Rio of the first one. Why am I playing on amateur? 
Uh, this is the weekly challenge. It is always one reward until you do it three times, at which point you will get 5,000 instantly. Uh, which is absolutely not worth it for the record. You could set up this difficulty for yourself and get probably around, I don't know, 7,000 in three games if you do, uh, if you play perfect, uh, maybe. You would get more. I th I'm pretty sure, unless my... I mean, I haven't done that in a while. We'll do more no evidence uh, later as well, because I want to do more no evidence. Nice bone immediately. Always good to have. But this is a good difficulty to test, though. The, to train, I mean. To train your no evidence skill. Uh, turn off the breaker already. All right. So, uh, no gin. Don't kill me, please. Oh, my God. What the fuck, bro? Dude, what is it? What is these 200 IQ ghosts, bro? The fuck? That's the second time that it happened today. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? The bait. Wait, that's for you, okay? Alright, no, you're okay, probably. Poltergeist? Poltergeist, probably. Let's test it. That sounded like so many throws. Holy fuck. Okay, I really want to turn on the breaker, though. Please chill. Go, go, go. It's actually a thing you got to keep in mind. From my experience, I don't know exactly, but if the ghost room is the room with the breaker, it tends to turn off the breaker more often than normal. Which also makes a lot of sense because it's like a regular interaction instead of like a special interaction to turn off the breaker the breaker's just always there which means it's like a regular interaction so it's more likely to happen so it makes it it's it passes the smell test but i'm not sure busy thank you for the 36 months holy shit. okay that's all set up oh god Ooh. That's why it's so nice to have long grace period. Holy. Okay, show me the polter. Oh, Orobaka, I guess. Well, at least one of these times we get an easy ghost. That is the first ghost that's easy in this entire, in these four runs. Holy. No fast ghosts or nothing. Oh, God. It's been working. Imagine it's a mimic. That'd be so fucking troll. <laughs> Maybe we have to actually do it again because it did so really sound like a poltergeist. Honestly, I think we got to play it safe and do another hunt here because there is a relatively r decent chance that it is a mimic here and we don't have any video cam to check that. So when would we know? We would have to like basically look at the ghost the whole hunt because it will at least shapeshift once during a hunt. That's the problem. If you don't see the shapeshift, it doesn't necessarily not have to be an Obake. All right, buddy. I'm me. So it's uh, it's such that. It's such that. I'm literally going to loop at the whole the whole hunt. Oh, here we go. Well, let's, I guess I'll wait over here so I don't speed it up too much. Yeah, here we go. I think actually the grace period reduces the overall length of the hunt as well. Because it technically counts as part of the hunt. What? Wait. <laughs> Excuse me. I think we have to try again. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I can wish the ghost was trapped and speed it up slightly. I wish to see the ghost wouldn't help much. Okay, this is strange. I mean, I didn't see it shapeshift at all. Imagine. It's gonna be a revenant now. It's gonna get blasted. We could set up multiple smudge sticks and loop it for the entire hunt. Holy shit. What if it's like a trillion IQ ghost and now it's gonna swap back into an Obake? Ask for knowledge. That's a good one. 
We'll loop it one more time. And if we don't see the... If we... Uh, don't see the blink, we'll just assume it's a mimic and then wish for knowledge. And if that rules out uh, mimic, then I guess it was an obake anyway. Oh my god, you son of a ding dong. So annoying for it to be here now. I mean, actually, no, that's actually that's amazing, because then we see the hunt, see the ghost the entire hunt, which means that for sure we'll uh, see the shape shift, which I might have to actually. Honestly, I might just drop my flashlight. Oh God, Jesus! I think I'm gonna do some insane shit. I'm gonna drop my flashlight and have two smudge sticks, so I can for sure grab the. Stop turning off the light! Oh, here we go. Okay. It is an Obake! If this is a mimic, I am going to become the Joker. It's kind of- that was so fucking sneaky. <laughs> what if it actually- That would be like a one in a million. <laughs> I'm not confident. I'm definitely going with it. Alright. Wish for knowledge just in case. Alright. We'll wish for knowledge just in case, even though it should be impossible. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. This is so scary, though. I hate the wish for knowledge. I wish for knowledge. Not here, shit. There you go, it ruled out Mimic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, game. Yeah, it is cheating. Why did they give us the monkey paw? I don't understand. Because monkey paw pretty much cheats like two times in this challenge. First, you can get an evidence, which is uber cheating. And the second one is you can get sanity, which is also cheating because it's supposed to be a no evidence challenge. So I don't know. I, I feel like they forgot how overpowered the... The monkey pie is? Uh, sanity definitely. Well, we can try, I guess. You stop hunting? It's gonna be a long hunt, though. I mean, it should work. You got two mylings? I mean, mylings are relatively nice to get. Oh, I. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit. Well, never mind. I'm not wishing for sanity. I forgot I dropped my flashlight. Oh, God. I can't see anything, bro. Okay, luckily I know this map by like the back of my hand. Can I please get out? Thank you. Whew! <laughs> I wish for light. Holy... <laughs> that could have easily killed someone if you didn't know the map layout very well. <laughs> okay, there we go. Apocalypse mode. That was indeed an Obake. Okay, what a damn mess that was. Those were some really clever ghosts. Uh, let me know how it went for you. I remember last time this was the freest challenge of all time because I had like a Raichu, a Thay, and a Moroi, so three fast goes back to back to back, which just means you figure it out instantly. But sometimes you get ghosts like these where you actually got to pay attention. Uh, I mean, the Obake was the easiest one by far. That Yurei was definitely the most annoying one. Uh, and that Onryo before that was just incredibly smart. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the love the game machine and chat, you can join us over at twitch.tv. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>